Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another great arcade game video for you. Today we are going over this Clean Sweep Crane. This came out in the late 80s and is kind of the famous one that everybody's seen. This was made by Smart Industries and they've made a bunch since then. There were actually some before this too. This wasn't the first crane. We call them cranes. Some people call them claw machines. This wasn't the first one, but this was certainly one of the most famous ones. And uh, uh, we shot a video of one very similar to this before, but uh, we got this one done today, and it was a little bit different, so we thought, well, we'll do a little video. A lot of people love these things. A lot of people hate these things, but we sell them, so we don't really care one way or the other. We kind of like them because they uh, they scream the 80s, you know, it goes with the, with the decor here in our shop. And uh, love them or hate them, they sell pretty quick, usually. So uh, we've uh, we got this in the other day and got it all cleaned up, got it working, got all the lights working, got all the locks installed, uh, got it where it's doing its thing. Now, most people don't realize the deal with these cranes was you could run them scrupulously or unscrupulously. <laughs> um, you can adjust how strong the claw is, which sounds like oh well you know the operators are just going to make it where the claws weak well not necessarily because you know it needed to be a little weaker to pick up bigger things and needed to be a little stronger to pick up smaller things so they, they kind of had to mess with it a little bit if you if you set the machine up where everybody wins every time then the operator doesn't make any money and so that's not good and if you set the machine up where everybody loses every time then the operator uh, is screwing everybody and after a little while he won't make any money because everybody that goes to that location knows that the thing is a gimmick so you have to make it where they win sometimes and they lose sometimes so you have to get the, the claw strength just right but this is a nice clean one we got in it's got the cool infinity mirror at the top with all of the bulbs and the little chaser board making them do their thing this is kind of like a movie theater marquee. This is this would be exactly what you would have saw in a movie theater back in the 80s. Um, it just uh, looks like it fits right in, right? So, some of the earliest cranes, now this is a Smart Industries one, but some of the earliest cranes didn't have a joystick, they just had two buttons. And so, you probably remember those. One of them you go back, and then the other one you go over, and then it drops immediately. You can set this one up like that, because it's got the uh, smarts uh, game board in it um, and some of the dip switches will change it where you can make it different types of play so you can actually set it up where it'll let you go back and it'll let you go over but it won't let you as soon as you do that it drops um, but we've got it set up uh, the most common way where you can move it all around wherever you want within reason yeah I think you get 15 seconds you can change that too but it's on 15 seconds and then you hit the button and it drops everybody's played these a million times so you know what I'm talking about but I figured I'd show you this nice clean example of one. It's a little bit faded. That should have been like a red, so it's it's faded pink over the years. But all in all, it looks pretty good. Now, this isn't the old, old one with the buttons. Um, this is a real common one, but a lot of the later ones, and the one that we filmed the other video of, the only difference between it and this one was it had gold trim, so it's a little bit later. We were thinking the other one's probably like 88, 89. This one, uh, oh, and it also had a, right here there would be a credit display. So there's a little tiny display that says credits one or whatever, and then it has a little timer that counts down. This one didn't have that. So as soon as you start it, um, I mean, as soon as you put the quarter in, it doesn't even move the claw. You have to move it to know that you've got a credit on it. And it doesn't have, it doesn't have sound either. These early ones didn't. But uh, they made Smart made Clean Sweep, and they made um, uh, Big Choice, and I think there's an I think I think they made the Bear Claw ones too. So there's Clean Sweep, Bear Claw, and Big Choice. But check that out, pretty cool game. So what I will do is I will put a quarter in it, and we'll play it, and I'll do it with the lights off so you can see how cool that sign looks. I figured we'd show you this too. We found this inside of it. This is a note from. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin did the final check. Final check by Kevin. 
And so here's what Kevin checked. Kevin apparently was in charge of making the cabinet just right. So for Micah, it's on the prize door. Let's let's check Kevin's work, shall we? Let's check Kevin's work. So it says for Micah, prize door, coin mech door, storage door, and side panels. So there is pink but originally red for mica on the coin the prize door the coin door the storage door the left side and the right side you did a good job there kev trim is there trim on the corners it does appear to have trim on all the corners good job kev is there trim on the storage door? Oh yeah, down there at the bottom, I can see it. Good job, Kev. Is there trim on the joystick top and buttons? Top, back, and side trim. So joystick top, there is trim. Oh, it said, you see what it said? Joystick top and buttons. So they were reusing this. This was the, this was the final check sheet that they printed out for the one with the buttons. Um, so yeah, there's trim there, and then it said top, back, and side trim. So we've got top, back, I guess would be the corners, and side trim. All right, Kevin, I'm gonna let you off the hook on that one too. Screws, corners, countersunk. Hmm. Well, he did such a great job with the trim that I can't see the ones in the corner. Maybe it says ones on the bottom down there. Uh, joystick screws. They must be underneath. Side screws. I saw those. They're in there. Top and back screws, we can assume, are there. Coin mech screws. Yep, the coin mechs are installed. Good job, Kev. Locks. Coin door lock and keys. Check, Kevin. Although the key was gone. So we put a new one on it, Kev. Storage door locks and keys, check, same thing. Window locks and keys, check, same thing. Playfield fence is installed and it's still in good shape, Kev. You did a good job on that. It's keeping them fenced in. Harness tube, Kevin. Oh no, there it is. It's in there. He's got the harness tube. <laughs> Framework. Hmm. I'll, oh, you know what? The framework is going to be the rails that it glides on. Framework's there, buddy. Storage area. There is a power cord hole in the bottom. Boop. Caster bolt holes. Well, there's casters on it, so it must have the caster bolt holes. Manual and board sitting. The manual and the board were both sitting in there. The board was actually screwed down. Lights, they're working, so the lights are installed. Cleaning, it was pretty clean. Serial number, that matches the game. Glass, front window glass is there, side window glass is there, mirrors back and front, and side sign. So there's the mirror in the back. There's the mirrored marquee at the front. I guess that's what they mean. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what they mean, because it's a mirror. And then side sign is this clean sweep guy. So Kev, you did a good job there, buddy. Hope you got a hope you got a raise. We also found these in there. They were advertising their next two games. Or these might have been the real hot stuff at the time. So Diamond Mind. Diamond Mind. Well, again, we think this is like 86, 87. Superior four-player rotary merchandiser. So these, what these did was they had a little thing that spun around and you tried to knock the thing down into the holes. Uh, Three-game selection program. So you can nudge the arm halfway across the playfield, nudge the arm all the way across the playfield. Automatic game arm moves all the way across the playfield. Dual coin mechanism. Blah, 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 blah. Cabinet separates for easy access. Trailer mount available. And then the piece de resistance, check this out. Slamma jamma. <laughs> awesome, look at this. Look 
little hand drawn art. They have the trailer mount model and the breakdown model. So I guess the trailer mount model might have been for like uh, carnivals or something. Number of coins required to start game, one through four. Number of tickets dispersed for winning score, one through four. Game time setting, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. And so it says the way you played it was you got three baskets wins. Pretty cool. We like getting this old stuff just so we can see. It's neat whenever they've got old paperwork and stuff in it. All right, so let's check it out. We've got our little coin mech. We're going to put in one quarter. I heard a click. To the right, to the left. All right, what do you think? Is that going to work? Here we go. Oh man, I won one. All right, simple as that, folks. There you go. So there you are, folks, another crane. We've done, I think, three or four of these now. If you hate crane videos, sorry. We just like them, we think they're cool. A lot of people like them. We get a lot of views on our crane videos. I mean, you know, 10,000 fans can't be wrong. Now, if you're looking for something like this for your home game room, check out our website. This clean sweep crane may have pushed on off to somebody else's game room by the time you see this video. As a matter of fact, it's almost guaranteed. But maybe we'll have another one. Check out our website. Go to lionsarcade.com and you can see everything that we have for sale right now. As you can see, we got a room with a whole bunch of stuff in it at all times. Uh, this is just the latest, which is why it's in the center of the room. Now, if uh, you're not looking to buy one, you can just stop by and see us if you want. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And we've got a whole room full of this stuff that you can come in and check out. And if you're not local, so you, that's not going to happen. Well, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube. We do videos every week of arcade games, pinball machines, jukeboxes, and the occasional crane. So make sure you let us know below what you think about this baby and if you remember playing it. After all, this may be the exact one you played. We'll see you on the next video.